So today we are requested or required to simplify this expression without the use of a calculator. And the first thing that you will notice is that the expressions or the exponents that we are working with, 2009, 2011, and 2007, they are huge numbers in such a way that if I'm not using a calculator, I cannot tell what 10 to the power square root, uh, 10 to the power of 2009 is, and 10 to the power of 2011, and 10 to the power of 2007 is. So, in order to simplify this expression, we are going to take just one of these exponents, either 2009, 2011, or 2007. So, which, and then equate that number to x. So, it doesn't matter which number you're going to choose between 2007, 2009, and 2011, and then equate that number to x. Uh, when you simplify further, you are still going to get to the same answer that you may have got if you had chosen a different number. So, in this case, I prefer to choose the smallest number. So, we are going to say let... 2007 uh, be equal to x. In other words, 2007 is going to be replaced by x. And we know in order for us to get to 2009, we have to add 2 on top of 2007. So because we have replaced 2007 with x, so this is going to be x plus 2 because 2007 plus 2 is 2009. The same applies here. We are going to say x plus uh, from 2007 to 2011, we are going to say 4. Yeah, x plus 4. So our next step, we are going to say therefore equals to the square root of 10 to the power x plus 2. Let us put this in brackets. And then we're going to divide all this by the square root of 10 to the power x plus 4. Let us also put this in bracket. Minus the square root of 10 to the power of x. So the next step will be to get rid of the square roots uh, in all these numbers. So we all know that the square root of our a, for an example, is the same as a raised to the power of half. So instead of square root, we are just going to put half. So this is going to be uh, the square. This is going to be ten raised to the power square root, to the power of half multiplied by this exponent, which is x plus two. And then we're going to do the same to all these numbers. So the next step will therefore be 10 to the power of half multiplied by this x plus 2. And then all divide by 10 to the power of half multiplied by this x plus 4 and then minus 10 to the power of half multiplied by this, which is x. And after we do that, we are just going to simplify the exponents that we have here, the exponents that we have here, and the exponents that we have here. So half multiplied by x is just going to give us um, x over 2, and then plus half multiplied by 2 is just going to be 1. So in the end, we are going to have 10 to the power of x over 2 plus 1. So if in here we are going to do the same, half multiplied by x, we are just going to say is x over 2. And then a half multiplied by 4 is going to be plus 2. So instead of this, we are going to have 2 to the power of x over 2 plus 2. So, and then here we are going to have a half multiplied by x is just going to be uh, x over 2. So, it's going to be minus 
x divided by 2. So that will be our next step. And then our next step will therefore be 10 to the power of x over 2 plus 1. All divide by uh, 10 to the power of x over 2 plus 2 minus 10 to the power of x over 2. So after that, we are going to simplify, say, this number and this one. So we know that when we are multiplying expressions with the same base, we add the exponents. Say, if we have got a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, sorry about that, all this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So as you can see from these numbers, from uh, the numbers that we have, this one and also this one, you can see that they are in this form, so we want to revert them into this form. So this is going to change to be 10 to the power of x over 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. And then this one is going to change to 10 to the power of x over 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2. So we're going to write 10 to the power of x divided by 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, which is 10, and then all divide by 10 to the power of x over 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. So you can write 100 or 10 to the power of 2 which is fine, and then minus 10 to the power of x over 2. Let us extend this. So the next step is going to be to uh, use this as a common factor, 10 to the power x over 2, 10 to the power x over 2, and then we factor it out, and then we're going to be left with um, 100 multiplied by m, 100 minus 1. Yes, so our next step is going to be uh, 10 to the power of x over 2 multiplied by 10 all over 10 to the power of x over 2. Oh, this is going to leave us with 100 and then minus 1 in brackets. And then from this step, we this 10 to the power of x over 2 and 10 to the power of x over 2 will cancel each other and then we're going to be left with uh, 10 over uh, 100 minus 1, which is 99. So the answer will just be 10 over 99. That will be our final answer. Thanks for watching.